Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kristen with Monarch Plans and today I'm doing my plan with me for the week of July 5th through July 11th in my Plum Paper Me Planner. If you saw my plan with me last week in my Moxie Life Planner, you know that I mentioned I might be moving back to this planner um, sometime soon and that week is this week. I realized that the way I organized my week last week in my Moxie Life was definitely really pointing me towards the fact that I needed to move back in here. It's already laid out into the different sections. I didn't need to do all the washy stuff that I did last week, um, like sectioning out my whole week in the vertical. I can just move into this and this is how my brain works. It's always things are broken out into different categories. I think of each day, different categories of things I need to do. This just works for me. So I'm really glad I did move to a different planner for a little while just to plan in the vertical, which was what I was missing and, and the flexibility and all that stuff. But I keep on coming back to this because this is truly how my brain works. So I'm going to be planning in here. I ordered a new Plum Paper Me planner that starts in August. This one goes through August, but I just wanted to start fresh, especially since I'm back in the planner. I didn't want to just have one month and then have that just like floating in this planner and then the rest of the months in a new one. So I will be starting in August in my new Plum Paper Me planner and I will show you everything in there, all the different sections I got. And it's very similar to this one, but I will still just let you guys take a peek. I will be using a kit from my shop. I'm using kit 221. It's this fun like tropical theme kit. So it just has the palm fronds and everything. So I have the regular kit here, sheet A. I have the headers and then I also have the just extra boxes and everything because I have quite a few things that I need to do this week um, in terms of like appointments or just things happening. So I wanted um, extra appointment labels. So I'm going to get started. i um, just putting down some washi. I actually, and this is the joys of filming YouTube videos. I actually already had done this whole thing. I had planned out most of my week um, and I was just using my phone to film because it was just easiest. I didn't want to get my camera out and I tested my phone camera and everything because earlier this week or last week actually I had filmed a video and I had it was like 30 minutes long or something like that and I had just kind of like forgotten to look at my phone. Um, sometimes I'm just like on a roll and I just forget to look at my phone while I'm filming and nothing was really wrong with it when I ended the video like it didn't have any notifications up or anything like that but when I went to go load my video into like my laptop and everything there was no video it was only sound and I was super frustrated so this week because I was like okay it must have just been a one-off thing because I've never had that issue with my phone before I tested the video on my phone when I was starting to film this, you know, this plan with me and everything was fine. It recorded the video, it recorded the sound, it recorded everything. And then um, I had gotten everything laid down, but I had just not written in the planner yet other than these like category things on the side. I had just written on labels and stuck them in. So I had like all my washi, my date headers, all of my appointment labels in and I was getting ready to start actually writing my to-do list items in here. And I looked and it hadn't recorded anything even though I had checked and double checked that it was recording previously. So I have no clue what's going on with my phone, but I'm kind of frustrated because I've already done this. I already filmed all of this. I put in all my labels and everything. So I'm hoping things work out a little bit better. I moved to my camera, so hopefully that works instead of my phone. But it's just such a bummer when you sit and literally talk to yourself. I know I'm talking to the camera, but I'm like just sitting in my office talking to myself pretty much for, you know, like 30 minutes. And then you look at your camera and realize like you were literally talking to yourself because your camera wasn't even filming. So Always a good feeling, always super fun, but I guess that's just the joys of like a YouTube channel. Um, I've been doing this for a while, and so I would hope that those like instances would be few and far between, but I feel like it happens a little bit more often than I would like to admit, but that was really fun. Um, <laughs> so this is my second time filming this. I took up all the stickers and everything, so 
Um, that's why I like the labels and stuff are already written because I already had done that part. So we'll get to that in just a second, but I'm excited to have this week planned. There's just a lot of stuff going on um, that I need to remember and to-do list items and stuff like that. So <clears throat> here it is with the washi. I am going to put in my um, date headers really quickly. I'm not going to like show it on camera. It's just super tedious to like put the dots on and put the headers in to make sure they're straight. So I'll be back in just a second and the headers will be on the page. So here's the spread with all the put headers put in. I am going to put in this little sticker on the sidebar and put a couple other things in my sidebar really quickly. Before I get started with all my appointments, I need to make sure I line this up right because it is very hard to get lined up sometimes. I always forget, that's the thing with like moving between planners. So I obviously planned in this type of planner for quite a while, actually in this planner specifically for a while, um, and then moved to the Moxie Life, but it's like every planner has different dimensions for these different areas. And I always forget like where I used to line things up. Um, so, okay, I think that looks okay, but it's always like trial and error when you're moving back into a planner that you'd use before, but you haven't used in a while. So, okay, I'm gonna put my weekend sticker in. I'm going to put it in my work section and I'm just putting it in because I don't have anything going on, obviously, during the weekend for work. So I'll just stick that down here. And then really quickly, let me go over my side, like my categories and, um, like talk about that for just a quick second. I won't go over this like multiple times in future videos, but the categories I'm choosing are personal, home, wellness, Monarch plans, my shop, my Etsy shop, Monarch plans, social media, and work. And I haven't printed any stickers yet to label these. If you watched my plan with me's before, you know, I had actual like printed script stickers that I would put down. So it wasn't, you know, time consuming for me to write these all out every single week. But at this point, I don't know if I'm gonna keep these same six labels for very long. I might switch them up just seeing how things work over the next couple weeks. I also know that into August, I will probably need to include an entire row just for wedding stuff. So I'm kind of leaving things open-ended and flexible for the time being. Then after the wedding is over, I can probably go back to like a more normal um, like grouping of categories, but just for the next month or so, it's going to be very, very busy and complicated. I might be switching up some of my categories. So I'm excited to see if this works or not and see like how I organize things. But for the time being, I think this is going to be good. Um, like I said, I filmed this before, so I already wrote those in. So um, I have a small section here for work because I mainly just have a couple meetings this week. So I think I'll just keep on putting work like down here or in whatever section ends up being the smallest. And then we'll see if there's like some section that needs more room or less room or anything like that in the future. And then I can adjust from there. I'm going to put in a couple of these little sidebar stickers because I'm going to write in my meals. I've done that before. Um, I am trying to be conscious of that because I have to fit into a wedding dress in the next couple weeks pretty much. So that's going to be fun. Um, so I'm trying to be pretty conscious of my meals and then I'm going to put in this habit tracker so I can write down a few things that I'm trying to keep track of, um, over the next few or over the next week, essentially. So here is the basic layout of everything. I'm really happy with this. I think this looks really good. It definitely takes me back to like the end of last year when I was planning in here and I absolutely loved it, but I just moved into a different planner because I just was wanting something a little bit different and so I did that and now I am back. So let's get started putting in some of the labels. Um, I do have some meetings this week and so I'm just gonna try and quickly write things down on labels. Actually what I think I will do is I'm going to speed through writing things on labels because one, kind of boring to watch me like write things out on labels. Um, especially like talking while writing is kind of difficult and I don't want to mess anything up. And then I will walk through and when I'm putting down the labels, I'm putting down my to-do list items. I'll talk about what I have going on this week, but for the time being, I'll just kind of speed through this so you don't have to listen to me struggle to write and talk at the same time.
Okay, so I have everything written out. Let me just start sticking some things in. And what I'm gonna do in this planner, very similar to how I did um, like last fall. Let me see if I can find a spread that I did this in. Um, let's see, so I have a bunch of different labels for my actual appointments and everything. So you can see um, like the appointment labels and everything like that. But my main to-do list items are just like little to-do lists actually written into the planner. So that's definitely what I'm planning to do for my layouts going forward is I'm not having labels for every single thing I need to do. Um, my brain naturally works in like lists and that would just be way too much stuff to be putting in here if I had a label for every single thing. So it'll look extremely similar to this with like just sporadic labels and everything, but then just like little um, checklists. I'm going to be using now my clean color dot marker. It's just the gray one instead of having, um, I think I was using an Erin Condren highlighter to do these, just the light gray highlighter. So now I actually have a gray dot pen that makes these really nice dots. I'm sure you've seen them before in my plan with me's, but I will be using that going forward. Um, so let me put in some of these little labels and then we can start doing our to-do lists. Okay, so on Monday, let's just go day by day. On Monday, I have a, um, a handyman that we always use coming over. He's going to put in some ceiling fans that we bought that are just a little bit tedious. There are a lot of parts to them, um, so we're having him come and help us. And then we are, or then also I just wanted to mark that I have no work on Monday because my work is observing um, 4th of July on the 5th. So that is nice, just gives me an extra day during the weekend to get some things done. Then on Tuesday, I have a phone call for work. And you'll see a lot of the labels I put in will probably be down here at the bottom because work is where I have like the most appointments and meetings. Um, but I also will have some just very random ones kind of sporadically throughout. So um, at 2 p.m. I have a call for Club Moxie. So I'm very excited for that. I love the training calls. They're definitely really nice to listen into. Um, I'm really hoping that this call is canceled or moved, which it is 90% of the time because I would really love to just listen in um, take like a late lunch and be able to listen in to the Club Moxie call. But if I can't, then I will just watch it on replay um, a little bit later. But I also have a meeting at 1030 on Wednesday. It's our first in-person meeting that we're having with our um, like our group. Uh, so it's kind of crazy. We've been going back to the office, but we've still been having meetings like over Zoom, even though we're t each like in each cubicle right next to each other we're still talking over zoom which is just kind of weird and i don't really get it i'm like could we do this from home probably but they just have been having us in the office part-time so it's kind of weird but it's our first in-person meeting so it'll be interesting to see what that is like after pretty much a year and a half of not being in the office so 9 30 a.m i have a meeting and two o'clock p.m i have a meeting on thursday um both virtual. So um, that is what I have going on for work. Um, one other thing I forgot on Monday is I'm expecting my plum paper planner, the new me planner that starts in August to be delivered on Monday. So I am very excited for that. Um, I'll show you guys what the new planner looks like. I think I mentioned it um, at some point soon. So probably at the beginning of August, I'll do a little walkthrough of what my new planner looks like. And then on Saturday, I have the RSVPs due for the wedding. So that is gonna be big because then as soon as I count those up and mark down who's coming and who isn't, then I'm going to have to start contacting people because inevitably not everyone responds. So that's on my to-do list this weekend is to start calling people and emailing people to see if they are actually coming or not. And then on Saturday, I'm also planning to do my new releases, my September new releases in my shop. So that is on the radar for this week. Um, hopefully that all works out. I've been having some technical difficulties kind of with one of my cutting machines. So I'm really hoping that doesn't mess anything up for the weekend, but that will hopefully be trouble sh troubleshooted, troubleshot, whatever, um, <laughs> the beginning of this week. So we should be fine. 
Um, but other than that, I think that's it for like the labels that I wanted to put in. I do want to quickly see if there's anything I need to put in from this sidebar. Um, it is my fiance's payday. So I will put that in the home section here. His payday is on Friday. So I need to do some budgeting stuff, but I'll just stick the sticker in here. And then I also was going to mark um, garbage day, which is Sunday. So I will also put that in home. There's like stuff like that to keep track of. And there was a point in time when we first moved into this house where we forgot garbage day like three weeks in a row. It was awful. And then other than that, there's really not a whole lot else. I do want to put this fun like little sticker here because it's cute. Um, but I think that we are all good in terms of like the actual appointments. So let me start doing like to do list items for each category in each day. I'm just going to go through and write and then I'll put in the little like dots a little bit later. So for my shop on Monday, I'm planning to have a um, design day just to work on some kits and some future kits and everything. And then I'm also going to the post office to drop a couple things off. And then I'm planning to have my plan with me, this plan with me come out on Monday as well. So that will be good. And then other than that, I don't really have anything else for Monday. It is my day off. So I'm, it's just kind of whatever happens, happens. Tuesday, um, we need to mail our marriage license application um, with like a check because we're getting married in Washington. I think it's $72 check. Um, so we have to apply for a marriage license ahead of time. So we're doing that. Super important. We got our, all of our stuff notarized like earlier in the weekend. So we should be good to go. Um, I need to pay some bills. And then I need to, I'm going to take like a day each week and just go through all the kits that I'm planning on releasing later this week. So um, I'm going to use Tuesday to prep kit 226 and then also I'll be um, printing and cutting some stuff just to make sure I have some inventory. Wednesday um, I am expecting a delivery. I ordered like a hair comb for um, the wedding so I am expecting that to be delivered. It's like a has a like crystals and stuff on it that I'll put in my hair um, for the wedding. So I think that'll be delivered, which I'm excited about because I just want all of my like ensemble for the wedding to be together and not be waiting on anything. So that'll be nice. Um, other than that, this will be the day to prep kit 227. I'll be printing and cutting again. When I have some time and then I am going to be releasing um, a preview of kit 226 hopefully on Wednesday and I'll probably actually just leave this blank and then plan this just to make sure things are all good to go like with the actual kits before I release any like sneak peeks or anything like that um, so I think that that is good there and then if we flip to Thursday Thursday is like wide open except for these meetings at work. So it's kind of nice. Um, I'm planning to go to the post office on Thursday, drop off some orders and prep um, kit 228 for the new releases. 
in terms of social media, I am releasing a YouTube video on Thursday as well if all goes well with my filming in terms of like if things actually are filmed, I'll release a YouTube video. That's why things haven't been coming out over the past week is like I mentioned, I've tried filming at least a couple videos and there's either no video and only sound or there's just no video or sound. So if everything goes to plan, there will be YouTube videos the rest of this week. On Friday, I'm going to double check all my listings and my listing photos. Um, this will be just like a work day for Monarch, whether that's like uh, designs, listings, orders, post office runs, anything like that. Friday's usually my day because Andrew's at work. I'm off work, so I have the whole house to myself, the whole day to myself, so I can just get things done. And then Friday also, I wanted to mark that the quarter for Amplify planners are being released, which I'm excited about. Um, I don't necessarily need to buy one since quarter four starts like quite a while from now, but I am just excited because um, I've been loving using my Amplify planner and I can walk through that at some point soon. I wanted to use it before I talked about it like in a video to really get a good feel for it, but I'm loving it. So wanted to mark that and then take a look at their website to see if there's anything else on there that I need. And then I'll see if I'll order then or maybe I'll order later. Do my new releases here. I need to do some work on coupons in my shop and then I need to also run to the post office again. So lots of post office runs during the week for me, but luckily now it's like three minutes from my house. So I'm super happy about that. And then Sunday is definitely more of a day that I'm going to be working on house stuff. So I will be doing my grocery order, um, doing some chores, which I need to kind of create like a cleaning list that I follow. And then I also am going to update my weekly goals and like my action items for my Moxie life. Um, so that will be good. So other than that, um, I think that's it for like the week stuff that I need to get done during the week. Other than those things, I do need to write a few things in my like to do my weekly to do. So most of these have to do like with the wedding. So that's, I'm getting like really into the thick of it with like making sure everything's good to go. So, um, I need to... I need to reply to our officiant. We have been working on our ceremony, so that's a big one. Um, hair and makeup. It has been a super big struggle trying to find someone to do my hair and makeup up where I'm getting married. So it's just every single week I'm devoting some time to try and, try and figure out what we're going to do. Um, I need to mail our marriage license, which I have that in my to-do list. Um, but I was able to just put it on Tuesday. I'll just get that done Tuesday. I need to call the hotel, um, that my dad is staying at. I need to call, um, someone about a cake that we're going to pick up. I need to send a thank you note to someone who sent us a card. And I need to reply to our florist because um, they sent me some messages. So I think that that is good for the to-do list. I'm sure I might add some stuff later, but <laughs> we'll just have to see. In terms of things I'm tracking on my habit tracker, um, there's like a workout problem workout program I do for Peloton. It's like strength training. So I'm tracking that. I'm also tracking um, like if I take a walk or I cycle on my Peloton um, and then water. So I have a big like 64 ounce thing of water. So I'm trying to drink at least one, but hopefully closer to two of those every single day. And then um, whether or not I get a blue dot um, for Weight Watchers, which is just what I'm following right now. So I think that this is pretty much it. 
Um, I know that was kind of a long plan with me, but I just wanted to talk through like the planner itself and my change back to this planner and everything like that. But I am super excited about how this is turning out. I can't wait to plan a little bit more in here and kind of get back into the swing of things. Um, but overall, I really, really like this. This will definitely fill up for the rest of the week um, as the week goes on. I know I've mentioned that before is that like the beginning of the week, it's just like bare bones stuff. Um, but then as I go through the week, I'll just add a little more every single day as I remember things. Um, but I think we are all good to go. So um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll put down in the um, like description box below there is kind of a way that you can get a referral for Plum Paper. They don't have like an affiliate program, which I wish they did, but if you do want a coupon for your first purchase for Plum Paper, and keep in mind you can't have created an account with them, for your very first purchase for Plum Paper, you can send me an email um, or contact me on Instagram, anything like that, and I can get you in touch with a coupon. Um, but it's a very like specific process, so I know it's a little bit hard to understand. Most affiliate programs are just like, here's a link, go buy your stuff, it's easy. Um, this is a little bit difficult, but you do get a coupon. So if you're interested in that, I'll have the information down in the description box. But can't wait to keep on planning in here and show you guys how I'll be using the new planner, but just keep keep tuned for that and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.